you want it. I can get you anything you want. All you gotta do is say okay. Baby, if you let me get on top, I have you feeling some type of way. What's up guys, it's your boy Exclusive Conquest and I'm back again with another video for y'all got. And today I'm about to hook y'all up on how to make thumbnails. Not thumbnails, not only thumbnails, but some fire bang of thumbnails. What? I don't even know why I'm holding camera, but let's get right into the video, man. Alright guys, so I didn't get to um record a video, so I'm gonna just do a voiceover and yeah, so this is the app super m pose x so yeah so i'm gonna just click the photo that i want thumbnail all right so i have it right so i'm gonna just add when you add a photo go to like a background photo that you want they like i have many you could just look it up on google so you see that i have a lot right here like black and white and all of that but I'll just choose the same picture. And then I'm going to go to um, effects and then put motion blur. All right, so motion blur. When you do motion blur, click the check button when you're done. Then add. Then when you um finish that, go to... Then go to mask tool and just outline it. All right, so when you're done, go to editor. Then when you go to editor, go to tools, like find tools. Then click mask outline. And it will show like a white outline of your body. Yeah, just like that. Then accept it. Then do it a second time. Now, this time you could click any color you want. But I like using black because black pops out the color more. So, yeah. All right, so boom, when you're done, click the plus button to add a photo of your choice. But this time I'm adding a background. I'm going to add the black and white illusion background. Then when you do that, go to transform and fit canvas. And then go to blend. When you click blend, press screen. And you could change the opacity to like translucent. And yeah, when you do that, it, may, it gives it like an effect. So, yeah. So when you're done with that, go to add a layer again. Now this time we're gonna click color. The color button, the paint button down in the options on there. Then click the color you want. When it actually that, just say yes, fix it. And go to, again, transform, fit canvas. Go to blend. Do the same thing. Now click overlay. And yeah. But this time, when you do that, Take the, lay the layer that you cut out and put it on top of the colored background. background. So, yeah, you can move other layers up 
if you want to make them pop out more, just like what I did with the illusion. Yeah. All right, so when you're done again, click add uh, another layer. Then I'm adding the Fortnite speed lines. Just look it up on Google. You will get it. And yeah, do the same thing that I did again. And yeah. And so when you're done and adding another layer, this time I'm about to add the emoji. You could just get this on pick start. Yeah, then I'm just shrinking it and adding it into the place that I want it to. And I'm going to just duplicate it. Yeah, and then I'm going to just add it to the other side. And I'm just going to add, I'm just going to put my layer on top of, on top of the um, emoji layer so that it doesn't, so it could be like underneath it to give it like a, like an effect. So when you do that, you go to do the same thing that I did with the first, the first layer when i did the motion blur you're gonna do the same thing with the both emojis do the motion blur with both emojis all right so when you've done now do the same thing add another layer now this layer is like a recording like recording image just look it up on Google and just save it and you have the same thing and just do the same thing that I was doing the whole throughout the whole video and just add a layer. All right, so boom, when you're done, go to InShot, add your thumbnail picture and go to filter, go to adjust. Then I like using green because I like how the the green effect gives the picture. And after that, I'll go to sharp and I'll sharpen up the picture. I'll like sharpen the picture so it could show up the image of the picture. And yeah. All right, so when you do that, go to effects, go stay on the glitch page, the glitch one. And I like using the one that says J, P, E, G. And yeah, I like the effect that it gives the thumbnail. That's why I like using it. But you could use whatever effect you like on your thumbnail. It's your preference. All right, so boom, when you're done with that, go open up Fonto, add your thumbnail that you just saved from InShot. Okay, then I'm gonna write how to make a thumbnail make a thumbnail but i'm gonna change i'm gonna change it because it can't it couldn't fit because i like the effect that i'm about to do with it is curve like when i go to curve when i go to, when i go to the text and i go to curve it don't it don't really fit so that's why i changed it to how to make i made the sentence shorter then i made then i put thumbnail on the bottom so so all of it could fit All right, so when you line it up how you want it, go to curve and curve it how you want. That's all I was talking about. Because if I try to curve it with the thumbnails in it, it would have been, it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't fit into the thumbnail picture. So yeah, curve it how you want it. And yeah. All right, when you buy style to text, go to stroke 
and make the stroke like thicker. And when you do that, go to the text, how you want it and click vertical. That gives it like a cool effect. Like you'd like the thumbnail YouTuber vibe effect. And yeah, but if I want the font that I used in this, in this um video, I will put a link down in the description. So check it out. It's the Fortnite, it's a Fortnite um text font. So yeah. All right, so boom, when you do that, do it to the other text, you already know the vibe. But I end up changing the color, you already know that. Yo, that color look wavy, I can't even cap. So I end up changing the color of both of the um thumb, the um, text. And yeah, they look fire though. That, that color was fire. I had to save that color too. It was fire, but yeah. So boom, go to the bottom left, three lines and go add image. I got this image from Pixar and the arrow to Pixar. Just search them up. Just look up pixel message and arrow on Pixar and then go to the sticker and they will show and they will give you and they just save it. All right, I'm gonna change the font to a pixel font and I'm gonna just add it into the box of the pixel message. Yeah, and yeah. And boom, you're done. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Comment down below what type of videos y'all want me to make also. And yeah, you already know the vibe. Exclusive gang, what? We out. Till I get up, time is barely out of